Raceview Network's Weekend Wrap-Up is sponsored by the American Quarter Horse Association, Remington Park Racing Casino, and by the Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association. Hi, I'm Jim Byers. Welcome to the Weekend Wrap-Up. Easter weekend brought out a paint superstar making his 2016 debut. It also offered a look at potential stars as grade three futurities took place at Louisiana Downs and Remington Park. Let's begin at Remington, but with another prominent race, the grade three Oklahoma Derby. Final purse for this 350 yard test is $280,000. Multiple runners from last spring's Oklahoma futurity are back for this Derby, including that 2015 futurity winner, T. Chick. Second to him last year was Big Lou for trainer Eddie Willis. Big Lou qualified second fastest for this from the trials on March 13th. Another 2015 Oklahoma Futurity finalist looking to record an Oklahoma Derby win is Little Man Rockin'. Bred owned and trained by Randall Reed, he was a romping trial winner in the third fastest time. Queen Washita finished last year with a win in the rich of Angeline Downs Futurity. He kept her form with a trial victory for this race. Regular rider Manuel Gutierrez is aboard. The three to two derby favorite, his fastest qualifier, she looks racy. Bred to be good, both her dam and grand dam were graded winners. She looks racy was a $42,000 purchase at Heritage Place last year. Where Donna Samaro rides from post seven. They're off in the Oklahoma Derby. Quick start, Queen Wash talking away sharply. There goes She Looks Racing now, battling for the front inside. They flip the streak, chasing third. T Chick now fourth. She Looks Racing, hands full with Queen Washita. Queen Washita to the inside. She Looks Racing to the outside. Queen Washita pulls the upset in the Derby by almost a half length. She was the tenth and final qualifier, but Queen Washita is fastest in the final under Manuel Gutierrez. The winner of three of her last four starts, dating to Thanksgiving weekend. Queen Washita is an Oklahoma bred daughter of Inseparable out of Queen's Magnolia by Just Louisiana Blue. Bred by Andrew Smith, Queen Washita boosts her career earnings to more than $256,000 in pulling the 11 to 1 upset here. She's owned by Jorge Aguilera and trained by Adrian Wittron. She looks racy a good second with Jessa Sweetie third. Winner's time with a strong tailwind 17.095 seconds. Louisiana Downs wrapped up its 2016 quarter horse meeting with the Grade 3 Harris Futurity on March 23rd. This 300-yard dash had a purse of $267,700. All eyes were on heavy favorite valid expectations, but despite a great start, he was outrun late by the Texas-bred Duponte under Francisco Ramirez Jr. Fifth in his trial, Duponte gets the money for owner Kristen Paredes, who paid $6,700 for this son of American runaway and having a good time. Read by Bobby Cox, Duponte is trained by Josue Ponce. Final time, 15.651 seconds. Back to Remington Park, where Saturday's card featured more than just the Oklahoma Futurity and Derby. A pair of grade one races for Paints and Appaloosas led to a winning night for owner Nolan Peavy House, trainer Matt Whitekiller, and jockey Cody Smith. The Oklahoma Paint and Appaloosa Futurity offered a total purse of $127,600. The favorite and fastest qualifier is CL Trap Queen, one of six from the D. Keener stable in the final. A game trial winner and third leading qualifier is Whole Lot of Love, Jimmy Brooks with the mount. CRM Radio Flyer is one of two in here trained by Matt Whitekiller. Another trial winner, he'll have the outside post. White Killer's other entrant is Paint Me Turnpike. This filly was a stylish trial winner in the second fastest time. She's going off the 9 to 2 second choice under Cody Smith. They're off. The Oklahoma Paint Futurity breaking inward. CL Trap Queen now straightening away, battling for the front. Down inside, Sexy Painted Wagon. CL Trap Queen continues to drift in. Coming on, Paint Me Turnpike. It's Sexy Painted Wagon trying to hold off. Paint Me Turnpike. They're going to come right to the line together, Bobby Noses. Paint Me Turnpike stays clear of trouble and runs down Sexy Painted Wagon in 15.534 seconds. Bred and owned by Nolan Peavy House, Paint Me Turnpike is by PYC Paint Your Wagon, out of Turnpike's Hero, who's by Texas Hero. Her name not only sounds like that of the great painted Turnpike, she's also closely related 
being a half-sister to Painted Turnpike's Dan. Now two for two, Paint Me Turnpike was ridden by Cody Smith for trainer Matt Whitekiller. Speaking of Painted Turnpike, the Triple Crown winner made his 2016 debut in the Speed Horse Graham Paint Napaloosa Derby on Saturday. This is a grade one with a purse of $44,200. Last year, Painted Turnpike won eight of nine starts and capped the season by becoming the first Speed Horse Triple Crown winner. From the familiar connections of owner Nolan Peavy House, trainer Matt Whitekiller and jockey Cody Smith, he's the heavy one to two favorite to come back a winner in this spot. Painted Turnpike has post position one in this 350 yard race. There goes Painted Turnpike quickly into stride on the lead near the rail. I'm a hot chicken chasing along third, moving up outside, pale face cartel and wagonette. It's all Painted Turnpike, this one's over, out by three lengths and just rolling along. Painted Turnpike is back with authority. What an incredible colt. Painted Turnpike annihilates this group, officially by two and a quarter lengths under Cody Smith. Now nine for 10. With earnings of nearly a quarter million dollars, Painted Turnpike is a son of PYC Paint Your Wagon and the SF Royal Quick Flash Mare High Class Turnpike. He was bred and owned by PB House with Matt Whitekiller, the trainer. Those connections sweep the grade ones at Remington Park over the weekend. Final time for Painted Turnpike, 17.238 seconds. We have a lot more to come, including the Oklahoma Futurity, right after this. My 40 saved me 500 on this Ford truck. My 40 gives me a year of good reading. My 40 makes me a thrifty shopper. <laughs> my 40 colors my world. Your $40 American Quarter Horse Association membership provides hundreds of dollars in benefits and services. To find out what your 40 can do, visit AQHA.com. The first major futurity of Remington Park's American Quarter Horse season is the Grade 3 Oklahoma Futurity. This year's renewal on Saturday carried a total purse of $420,000. These youngsters are going 300 yards. The top two qualifiers exit the same trial March 12th. KG Johnny B. Good was up by a nose to win that night in the fastest time of the 15 trials. He's 7-2 in the final under the ever-present Cody Smith. A strong second of the top qualifier was Corona's first diva. She led every step until being out knotted, finishing two hundredths of a second behind. She's also seven to two. The nine to five favorite hails from the Eddie Willis barn feature Moonflash. This Louisiana bred took his trial with the third fastest time. He'll have post position five for the Oklahoma Futurity. They're off on the Oklahoma Futurity. Pareel comes away sharply to the inside. Crows for Steva picks up the chase now. Outside, Sweet Annie GL is right there. Farther out, Gronkowski. Crows for Steva now gets the upper hand. Crows for Steva trying to hold off good Captain Pepper. It's going to be Crows for Steva in the Oklahoma Futurity by Oklahoma. The trip wasn't perfect like in the trial, but this time Corona's first diva proves clearly best in drawing away to take the winner's share of $168,000. An Oklahoma-bred daughter of Corona Cartel and the tremendous mare Spit Curl Diva, who's by Spit Curl Jess. Corona's first diva was bred by the Lepic Mixer Partnership. She's owned by Sarah Leanne Morgan and trained by Duke Schultz. Jockey James Flores is the winning rider. He was able to get his mount into stride quickly after a brush at the start. I just sat chilly on her and uh, you know, let her get her feet in front of her. And, and once I knew she was comfortable where she was, I asked her and went, went with the left hand and she responded great. And, she switched leads and went back right-handed and tapped her once, and I mean, she just brought us home and, you know, stayed strong all the way. Final time for the winner, 15.206 seconds. More stakes results are on their way after this quick break. The 2016 American Quarter Horse season at Remington Park. 50 days of racing, 40 stakes races, a record 5.7 million in stakes first money. The nation's best season through June 4th. Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association encourages the breeding and ownership of Oklahoma bred horses, promotes and protects racing opportunities in the state, and represents our members' interest at the state capitol. Learn more at oqhra.com.
Rescue Network's Weekend Wrap-Up is sponsored by the American Quarter Horse Association, Remington Park Racing Casino, and by the Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association. So that wraps up our show for this week. Thanks for being with us. Raceview Network is the place to be for quarter horse racing's biggest races and fastest horses. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe on YouTube. On behalf of all of us at Raceview Network, have a good week, and we'll see you next time on the Weekend Wrap-Up.